Hello everybody and welcome to your next Lego 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about creating and saving bitmaps. Uh, now a lot of you might not think this is important but it could, real, it could really be a, a good thing to incorporate in your games especially if you you want to have a uh, a character creator or something in your game then this is really 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 a, a good thing to look into okay so first of all this is the code from the sprite animation tutorial sprite sheet animation tutorial not the individual sprite the sprite sheet animation tutorial stitch in 14 okay so this code is, is exactly the same and if you don't have the source code you can download it off my website okay so right now in my project folder I have two different images okay I have one called person and one called hair okay so what I'm going to be doing is joining the person and the hair into one image and displaying it to the screen uh, that helps and because if you you could easily draw them as two different instances and you could say uh, draw the person and draw the hair after but if you can combine them into one bitmap it's less work for the hardware or less work for the uh, for the computer or whatever and uh, you can save it if you need it for later use like say you say you have a character created in your game and then you let them create a person they create a person like this with blue hair then you can save it as its own separate instance so when you load the when the person loads the game again right uh, then you can just load in that image rather than loading in these two different images and having to join them again you can just um, load the other image uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that for now. So right now we're going to uh, get rid of the load bitmap and we're going to say AL create bitmap. And for now uh, we're not going to, we're going to leave that there for now. And what we're going to do is going to do AL underscore bitmap and we're going to just do person AL load bitmap and it's called person dot png. And we're going to create another bitmap called hair. AL load bitmap and hair.png. And then as for the create bitmap, we need to specify width and the height. So we're going to say AL get bitmap width. Um, we're going to put the person and AL get bitmap height and put the person in there. Okay, so we have so, okay, so we have our bitmaps and okay, so we, we have everything set up like so. Okay, so now we created a bitmap for our our player, but we have to be able to draw to the bitmap. So uh you know our display, our display kind of has a bitmap, it has a back buffer, and what happens is that we draw everything to our back buffer and when we call AL flip display, it switches uh it like kind of flips the display so it shows what happens on the back buffer and then the the this the other screen becomes a back buffer and so on and so forth. So basically the back buffer is like it's like a bitmap, right? You draw everything to it and you draw it to the screen. So what we want to do is that we want to draw the player and the person and stuff to the player bitmap. So then we store we store whatever we need into one bitmap. So what we need to do is type in al set underscore target bitmap. And then there we're gonna put the bitmap that we wanna set as our target, our render target. So basically, every single thing that you, every draw command or everything you draw from now on is gonna be drawn to the player bitmap, not display, not the back buffer to the player bitmap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do AL draw bitmap, and we're going to put the person uh, x and y and null. And we're gonna put L draw bitmap hair x y or actually no we don't do x y we just put zero. Sorry sorry I'm thinking that we're like drawing it to the screen sorry so we just put zero zero and we put null. No. Uh, the reason why we have zero zero is because on our current our current player bitmap is the, the width and height of um, each of our images, right? 
so we're just drawing it at the top corner of this player bitmap. So we're not drawing it according to screen coordinates. We're just drawing it according to these bitmaps coordinates. So sorry if I confuse you, but just set it to zero zero so it, it draws it on our bitmap. So once we draw everything to our bitmap, uh, what we want to do is we we're going we're going to want to save the image. Okay, so we'll do al save bitmap. And we'll save this as player1.png. And the bitmap we want to save is player. Okay, so we stored all that stuff into our player bitmap. And we're saving it as a PNG file called player1. Okay, so now we set our target to a uh, player. So we're drawing everything to our player class, uh, to our player bitmap but we need to revert it back to our display or to our back buffer so then we can actually draw stuff to the screen so what we're going to do is we're going to do al set target bitmap and we'll do al get back buffer and then we put in the display in there and then everything will be uh, drawn according to the display okay uh, so that is basically it and oh for my images I'm just going to change a few things the reason uh before we use this player image that was three by four this image is four by four uh so i just got to change some stuff in here uh firstly i just have to set this to zero you might not have to do this but uh, i have to do it because of my my image has changed uh but yeah so once we do that then when we run this program notice it combines the person with the hair right so it combines this with this image and we just created a new image called player one of a png file format so then if you want to load this in, a, in another game or when, when they load the game then you can load it in rather than loading in these two Im, in, um, images so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye